Hi, I'm Jill Lovnick Keb with Healthy Facts, and we're going to make a great creamy pasta sauce using squash as our base. It's lovely acorn squash. In the fall, they're more abundant in the Midwest where I'm from. And so we just want to get this in the oven. We're just going to cut it. Scrape out, well, I can scrape out the seeds later. We're just going to put this in a, in a baking dish with some water in it and stick it in the oven. Then when this comes uh, out, we'll be ready to proceed. Okay, our acorn squash is out of the oven and cooked up beautifully. This is a fun, just a fun and different way to make a, a nice creamy sauce that's kind of uh, cheesy. I love everything that's nutritional yeast, um, basically. It's like one of my favorite things. But I really like it and you really don't have to use nuts because I just kind of prefer not to. Like a lot of, a little bit of extra fat there if you can get away with not using the nuts. And since I just made those cookies today, got my fat coming in in other areas, you know. So even though my nuts are good, I have to watch it. And you can go kind of crazy with the nuts, you know. If every cheesy sauce you have has nuts in it. So, um... Cashews, I think, are technically a fruit. I mean, or maybe a seed. I'm not sure, but they are still high in fat. And this squash is no fat, and it has tons of antioxidants in it, and it's really delicious. So, also, we'll we'll taste this to see if I do need a little bit of maple syrup because um, we might not. You have to alter recipes. You know, I'm really bad at measuring, so. I'm going to put a cap full in of my nutritional yeast, or nooch, as my good friend Lori calls it. And then this, this uh, parsley, fresh parsley, I try to take off a lot of some of the stems, but, you know, I don't really get too worried about the stems. So there you go. But a couple parsley. You can do a little bit less if you don't like parsley. Uh, a little bit of Dijon and a little bit of uh, non-dairy milk to see if that works and then I've got some seasonings here so some salt garlic powder a little cayenne a little uh, mixed mixed uh, what have you you know like Italian seasonings or whatever I'm gonna blend this up Wow, that's really good. I love it. And I love fresh parsley. So it's creamy and delicious. And I don't know if I need my maple syrup on this one. My, um, like I said, taste your acorn squash or, you know, if you want to add a little tamari, I did add some salt in there with the seasoning. So it's plenty salty and it's just really good and flavorful and fresh and yummy and healthy. What's not to like? I also tried this lentil pasta last night, which was really good. Rotini made from red lentils. It's a little bit pricey at uh, $8.99, but I tried it. And um, I've got some penne, or uh, this is organic brown rice penne for today. Once my water is boiling and it just right before, right before um, the cook time on the pasta is done, like a minute or two, Two minutes probably I'm gonna throw in my mushrooms and then my peas which were frozen and you don't have to they'll just kind of quickly cook those or the, my mushrooms will still be a little bit um, al dente and we'll be one pot drain add your sauce put a little of that shredded um, Parmesan have you seen that follow your heart has the shredded Parmesan very exciting good stuff a great dinner really healthy for a fall lovely dinner to take advantage of our squashes. I'm Jill of Nick Cab with Healthy Bags. Thanks for watching and keep taking good care of yourself. You're worth it.